what's up Austin it's guys here and since I haven't been working on my trailer I decided to show you guys another project that my dad and I've uh, got going on mostly my dad I helped a little bit with with the roof rack but uh, it's a moto van so this is a 2018 ProMaster the mid wheelbase version and the high roof so what we've done is converted it to where you have um, an area for your dirt bikes in the back and then an extra cargo space not cargo space, passenger space in the front. So we added a three seat situation here. This is from actually from a transit van. But we got this one because that's what we could find and uh, it reclines. So that's pretty cool. Again, tilt it back and forth about that much. It has the individual seat belts in each one, which is kind of nice, but and then as you can see, we have a wall in here, but we left it open so you can still access access the back. One of our buddies actually built one. A lot of them, a lot of moto vans are that way where they build the wall all the way across. And it sucks because you can't get into the back. Like if you're riding up front and you need to get something, you have to go around to the back, open it up, get out. It sucks if it's cold or raining or, or you're driving. Um, wear your seat belts at all times, but... driving you need to get back there you can kind of meander into the back so so we have there but we built this because my family uh, were pretty big into racing my sister especially this is her bike she races the women's pro class in the uh, national hare and hounds she's filming right now let's here let's oh. see this. here you are hey guys <laughs> yeah so you can uh, find her on instagram what's your uh, uh what's your Rachel handle dot stout dot one one two that's me okay don't be alarmed at all the followers. There's a lot of them, like 400. You have 400,000 followers? No, it's like 400. Actually, 400, like probably like 12 now. So oh, wow. You could make it 413 if you like looked it up. Go Anyways, moving back to, the, back to the van. Oh, let's see. What else do we have in the front here? We have these lights. These are actually the same ones that I put in my trailer, the Kori brand, I believe. So they have two separate bulbs. You can turn them on and off to get the right amount of light that you want in there. Um, you use the same wall paneling like I put on the ceiling for my trailer. And then this is one inch square tubing for the wall. So my dad just basically built a frame and then it bolts into the wall up there, um, the wall on the side and then the floor. And then he put foam board insulation in there, kind of like what I did with my trailer and then covered it with the wood on this side. And then there's plywood on this side. So it's a little bit sturdier. So that way um, it gives you something to tie the bikes down to and then um, a little bit of separation between the passengers so you don't have a toolbox flying off and killing somebody. That's what we were trying to avoid, you know, safety. We're all about that. <laughs> We've got some Pioneer speakers. They just hook right into the main unit there. It's kind of sick. It's pretty loud in the back and it's not quite as loud in the front. So the volume, it's just that it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, this is another little thing we got here. Uh, basically, we just cut these out of some steel put a hinge on and then riveted them to the van and that way you can put your little hydro flask in there and then it holds it up while you're chilling in the back over there we have the switch for the light a uh, 12 volt outlet and a usb outlet so you know standard stuff you can find that on amazon the link will also be in the bio the front's basically just a standard van there's nothing else too fancy there <laughs> got a uh, two side lights and then two back lights. These are also the same ones I put on my trailer. Kind of nice. You can set up your uh, grill right here when you get to the race or we actually camp in this too. So obviously it's good to have lights. So here's the roof rack. If you want to show that a little bit. Okay, so it's uh, one by two rectangle tubing steel. And then it also has some square tubing in there for different heights so that we can have a solar panel mounted up. This is the Trex decking. We just spaced it out like you would a deck. And then we have the max air fan right here on top. And then this is a 160 watt uh, rich solar brand solar panel. If you guys want to find that, I'll put the link in the bio as well as for anything else we have on here. Um, there's a little light on the side there. And then this second platform. But we did this platform because if you climb up here uh, when you're at races, it's a lot easier to see if anybody's coming. Like if you're out waiting for a pit or... At the end of a race, you can kind of see people coming to the finish. But moving on to the back, 
this van came with a backup camera in there so it's kind of nice and then those are the other two lights we put on the back so like I said this is the high roof pro master and I am a six foot one adult male and I can stand up in here I have about four fingers on top of my head so that's just for reference nice you guys are curious but so anyways this we can fit three dirt bikes back here usually we have two but if you put a stand right up against the front wall there you can put a, a third and it'll fit back right up here to the door the we have a mount for the ramp it goes up underneath that shelf and that just kind of keeps it out of the way when we're actually traveling around we have it so it's not just back there, so rattling around you know um, and it, since this is set up for camping too we have a camping pad right here on the side and then our sleeping bags you can run a hammock across what's up so this is the hammock setup we have you stretch that right there put a cot down somebody can lay on the floor so it's pretty dope or you can just roll up after your moto just come in here and hang out kick the fan on keep it somewhat cool you can actually sleep quite a few people in here if you want to really pack in for a long race race trip or whatever um, this is I believe it's called L track but it's like some sort of aerospace tie down situation I'm getting an NPS warning light on the link monitor control subsystem I'd have to ask and see where where to buy this but if you search L track I believe you'll be able to find it um, so we have those four there these work good for tying down the sleeping bags and whatever else what other crap we need to haul I guess um, my dad did wheel well covers on the van so normally it's the rounded metal wheel well but that cover just kind of makes it nice because then if you're camping you can set stuff on there you don't have a big sloping metal deal and then also it insulates it a little bit too so when you're going down the road it's not quite as loud being in this open metal van but um, we bought the or my dad bought the one that has the side panels on it and then it also came with the floor in from the factory but he pulled those down and insulated behind it um, so it's basically the sides and the roof are insulated kind of keeps it nice and warm in there see we got our stove jump starter broom that's actually a ladder so we can climb up and get on the roof we haven't built a solid mount on ladder yet that might be coming in the future but for now we just have the collapsible one there and then up front obviously we got the tool chest it has everything we need for working on dirt bikes um, when we went camping we took this on two trips going to Montana and Oregon and it was kind of sweet having the toolbox because we took all the tools out of it, cleaned it, and then we put all our camping stuff in there. So we had like forks, utensils, all that kind of stuff. We had plates and then just whatever other camping things you can fit in those drawers. Kind of handy. But And then you have a workbench right there in case you need to work on something or just pile it full of shit because it's a flat surface. Um, yeah, and so the big thing though, I showed the, I'll show you the solar panel on the top with the, the roof rack, but right there in the corner, behind the toolbox I'm not sure if you can see that I'll kind of get up in here we have the charge controller for the solar panel we have an AGM a 50 amp hour or I mean 100 amp hour AGM battery down below and then this is the same one that I have in my trailer I really like it I like the adjustability of it and everything so we went with the same one turn on a little bit more light have a couple more outlets right there and then we also have one down in this corner so uh, my parents bought the same fridge that I did for my trailer so when we go camping or race trips we can either set it right up here in the front or we can set it right here in the back and then there's an outlet there so this fan that we have this max air fan and then the lights um, all the outlets for the plugs all of this is running off the auxiliary battery which is charged by the solar panel so I'll show you that here in a second, but that way you can put all your lights on. You don't have to worry about running them dead and then not being able to start your van and go. We actually, we ran the, the first two, well, yeah, yeah. So the first two camping trips, the week long camping trips, we ran the fridge off of the, the van battery, but it has a voltage cutoff. So unless the van was running, it would, it would pull the, down the voltage enough that the fridge would shut off and it's just kind of annoying to deal with so that was another reason why we put that in there but coming outside 
kind of show you guys underneath real quick the battery situation so that white box right there that's a steel box we made it has a seal on it and then two bolts that's a door on this side but basically the battery's in there um, the wires come out run right there it's all we put it all in loom and everything and then that runs up into the van up to the, the charge controller um, so that's all automated basically don't even have to worry about it don't have to worry about laying on its side or anything like that if you guys have any other questions or want to see some more details in depth on what i've done in this van or my dad's done um hit me up in the comments and ask some questions or give me something to uh, work with and maybe i'll make some more videos on it but uh anyways thank you for watching and hit that like button if you enjoyed the content and subscribe if you want to see more and that's about it catch you guys next time